Hey guys, it's Alex again. <clears throat> Sunny day up here in Massachusetts, but cold, so got the hoodie going. Some of you have asked about uh, my seats that are in my uh, 2011 Mustang. I just wanted to sort of give you a, a quick overview of the seat, a quick review, um, what I did for uh, sliders, installation, and just sort of a general go around as to what I think about the quality of the seat. Well, here you go, guys. These are... Um, Seats that I got from eBay, they're NRG Innovations. I've never heard of the company. I've never heard of anything about these seats. So I just went on eBay real quick and uh, took a look at them, saw the measurements, and I saw that the measurements were pretty good for my waist size, for my height. Don't mind this. This is just uh, basically, you know, when it's cold out, it's sort of like a, like a haze. But this is actually a really nice gloss rear finish uh, looks really good but it just happens to be cold today so it's kind of giving me this foggy effect but this comes right off so it's not a big deal anyway um, the seats come for I got these for $325 shipped now if you've ever shipped anything you know how expensive it is to ship something of this size not necessarily the weight but the size so I thought 325 shipped was an excellent deal they come with these brackets Okay, these brackets come with, they're adjustable. I have them slightly adjusted to tilt back because it's kind of a front facing seat. Now for the sliders, I used to have leather, leather power seats and I traded them uh, for, uh, don't mind the feather, I traded them for manual seats and the guy gave me a little money on top of that because he wanted the leather. I really couldn't care less about the leather. I slid all over the place and the leather started to crack around the edges. So these are the stock 2005 through 2010 sliders and they fit really well. What I did was I painted them gloss black with a uh, high solids primer. They look really good in my opinion. Uh, it slides really easy. The only thing is you have to do some customization. And what you have to do is extend this bracket. This, the bracket that comes with the seat stops short and the stock seat bolt is forward uh, maybe four and a half inches. So what I did is I took a piece of uh, flat stock and I bolted it to the bracket, extended it out, drilled a hole and put it on the stock slider. Uh, it probably took me all of 10 minutes. Um, the thing that took the longest was probably the painting. So these are the seats. They're NRG. Uh, all these little parts are removable. This is like Velcroed on. I drive my driver's seat without that front part because I like to have uh, my legs sort of be lower a little bit. But this, for a passenger, with this installed, it's really comfortable but you know you don't have to install it all the parts are removable they're all velcroed in see but great support super sturdy um, I've sat in Corbeaux's I've sat in Sparco's this quality is just as good the only thing is if you want a nice cute little Corbeau label label up there or Sparco or Recaro that's up to you I just wanna to light the car lighten the car up a lot for cheap money and these are a great alternative so Hopefully this answers the questions you guys had about my seats. Any other questions, feel free to comment below, send me questions. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks.